Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we have some death claws and a lunchbox in an episode that is less than 10 minutes. Uh, that's right, it's about the nine minute mark. Okay, so we've got our 120 caps. We're building up our collection of dwellers uh, who are waiting to get into the vault. And of course, it's business as usual. Ooh, we've got a lot of maxes. Okay, so time to collect all of the skills, of course. So business as usual, but we do have three max strength. Come on, let me collect. There we go. And we have uh, another max there in the agility room as well. Uh, so that's three max, uh, sorry, four maxes. Okay, any more? Yep, another one up the top that I can see in the other agility room. Let's see where we can move these. Okay, so we can not move them there. We can go to perception, but there are four people in there already, so we can just dump one in luck. I think there's room for two. And let's go for uh, the charisma in the bar for the third one. Okay, because we've got another two maxes, actually. So we'll have to deal with those and get them moved into appropriate rooms. Okay, so this person is strength and endurance. So again, they can go potentially into... I don't know whether that's three or four. We'll find out in a minute. It doesn't look like anyone's leaving, so that's fine. Uh, let's have a look at this chap. Uh, so he's perception, endurance, and agility. So he can go to strength. That's handy. And what about her up here? Strength, perception, intelligence, and agility. No endurance. Well, that's nice and easy because we've got plenty of room in our endurance rooms. Okay. Let's collect the items from our previous quest. Okay, to recipe for a sniper rifle. Oh, no theme recipe fragments. How disappointing. We'll have to get them sent out on another quest. And let's collect a couple of more dwellers. And of course, what do we also need to do? I think it might be worth adding a couple of additional people to our vault. Oh. Just make sure we haven't already added these people. So a quick scroll down to double check. Yeah, L-M-N-O-P-R, there we go. Okay, doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's add, here we go. Just checking the spelling as I go. So Russell Denham, Russell Denham, welcome to the vault. We'll get you dragged in and dumped into a changing room. A changing room? A training room? <laughs> okay, and we have Johnny to add as well. Uh, never gave me a last name, uh, so we're literally just gonna leave you as Johnny uh, with the last name that was there, so Smith. So Johnny Smith, welcome to the vault as well will get you dragged into an additional training room. So I might as well put you in the empty endurance room. So you've got an entire training room to yourself. Okay, right, we also have a lunchbox, but we do need to sort out another quest. Ooh, spelunking training, three Nuka-Cola Quantums. Or we could finish uh, the last mission on uh, the killing of uh, the editor. Uh, which I think we have done up to the end. Uh, so we these that's two, that's nine out of fifteen, that's two out of seven, one out of six, one out of eight. We haven't started. One out of six, one out of four. There we go. Zines from the Commonwealth is seven out of seven. So we might as well finish that quest line as well. Now don't get me wrong, the daily quest is worth doing. And here comes some death laws. Now of course this is where we get to test our new enhanced weaponry. Uh, in our rooms and in a soon-to-be future episode we're going to get that small um, storage room taken out and our third radio room put in because uh, we do have enough caps now because uh, we have to go with an expensive upgrade to level three an upgrade to level two and then put another level one uh, radio room studio in okay let's get you dragged over to there Okay, right, of course their health is going to go down spectacularly, but what we should hopefully see is them dying fairly quickly. Might as well collect our resources uh, while we are being attacked by them. Uh, oh, we've got one dead already, very good. 
we managed to get one of our dwellers into that storage room, so a quest fitted uh, dweller uh, with the uh, plasma rifle. So, fingers crossed, uh, what you should find is these death claws aren't going to get any further uh, than our power room. Yep, not too shabby. Yep, one's dead. Well, it's the second one dead now. And the third one should be dead momentarily. Yep, there we go. Lovely stuff. Okay, death claws averted. Now we can get back to doing what we were doing. But what I will do is just level all those people up because I can't actually be bothered to put the endurance wear on and it saves me replenishing their health with stim packs even though it was unnecessary. And there's the reason that we're not doing spelunking training because we don't have dwellers with the right statistics. Uh, so again, let's do Stop the Presses, Zions from the Commonwealth, 7 out of 7. Our usual quest squad, of course. So Donna, Jeffrey, and good old Rachel. And we're going to assign at least 12 stim packs, and of course 12 Radaways. And we're certainly not spending 6 Nuka Cola Quantums, so we'll get them sent on their way, and we'll be able to get that quest done in 11 hours in real time. Unless you're playing on a mobile device and you like playing around with your clock, of course. Uh, which I never actually did. Um, I just like to play games as they're meant to be played. Until I've completed them and then I uh, do do fun mods and stuff like that. But uh, yes. Right, lunchbox time. What do we get? Oh wow, baseball glove. Ooh, clergy outfit. Rare version. Charisma plus four. 500 caps. Nice. Hmm, right away. Austin Harper. Okay, so we've got Austin Harper coming in from the Wasteland, a rare dweller. Now, as I've said in previous episodes, rare and legendary dwellers aren't actually very good uh, because they're already halfway up the level tree and you cannot possibly get them to max health uh, by keeping them level 1 and getting their endurance to 10 and then adding legendary um, endurance wear. We don't have the recipe for legendary endurance wear yet, uh, but you never know, we may find it. Or at least find some rare uh, endurance wear, which we still haven't found either. Right, let's get rid of some of our excess stuff that we don't need. So all of this low damage weaponry uh, we can get rid of. Huh, rusty BB guns, yeah, we definitely don't need those. Even an enhanced BB gun, definitely no. Enhanced three twos, no, they can go as well. As can our rusty 10 millimeters, our rusty scope four fours, and our enhanced scope four fours. Okay, right. Looking across, minimum damage four across the board, apart from a couple of two to sevens there. Uh, that which is of course the lone wanderer. Uh, not going to get rid of it because it's legendary. Um, but yes, or what you can do, of course, is recycle it for legendary gear. But we've got Confessor Cromwell's rags now and Bittercup's outfit just sitting in spare because we have duplicate of Bittercup. Uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff that we're never going to use. So leather armor, we might as well get rid of all of it. Uh, anything else that we're not going to use? Merc gear, let's get rid of that as well. Good in the early game, but not where we are now. Uh, with approaching 150 dwellers. Let's get rid of some of our excess uh, endurance wear, so our wasteland gear. Let's get rid of some of it. There we go, down to a couple, that's plenty, and we've got loads of additional space in our storage now. So good stuff, and that's it for today. So until next time, all it leaves me to say is good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and of course, for me, know it all gaming, good night, and if you're not subscribed, please do so.